welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a small deer hair caddis. In the vise I have a Hans BL454 in the size 16. This one is this dry fly hook, much like the Tiemco 103. The thread I'm using is the Nano Silk from Sample Fly, 18 watt in beige. You could also use any other light and quite strong thread that you have. So what I'm going to do is to start the thread right behind the eye, put down just a little bit, then cut off the excess. And here on my way down I'm going to tie in the first material which is going to be the rib. And here I have some really small green tinsel. So I'm just going to catch the, this on my side and then I'm going to take this down not quite to the bend of the hook but slightly shorter and this is only to represent the natural shape or the natural length of a caddis body. These have really short bodies and the most predominant feature of a caddis fly are the wings. And then I'm taking this body quill, this one is the, the color 11 and is this grey olive quite dark color and I just taken off a little bit from the spool and I'm going to tie this in right where we left the tinsel and then a few loose turns then I'm going to pull on the material just to shorten it and this way you don't have to cut it off and then with touching turns we can go up the whole length of the body and trying to tie down as much of the material as possible. And for now we're going to leave the thread about one eye length behind the eye and then I'm going to bring up this body quill and for this I'm going to do slightly overlapping turns and I'm also going to try to create a little bit of taper on the fly. And this one you could also, instead of using this body quill, you could also use just a little bit of dubbing or some wool or any material that you like. You could also go with some real quills, like from Peacock or go with a hackle stem. The materials and the colors on these kind of easy flies are endless. So whatever materials you like to use or the colors, just go with it, there is no real rule on this. Once we've tied up the body and tied it off, I'm going to bring up the rib and this time I'm going to do open spiral turns and this is going to represent some segmentation and also give this little glitter to the fly. And this is usually what I try to have in all my flies, it's just a little bit of sparkle or some UV material because what we're trying to imitate is a living insect and also a quite translucent one and with most materials and the hook they are not so translucent so the best way to imitate this is to have some sparkly material and this will then represent like the light shining through the insect but instead it will just reflect the light and give the same effect or at least that's what I'm thinking it will do. Then to protect the body we've just made, because right now it's not so secure, I'm just going to put down a thin layer of uh, hard as nails or any varnish that you like you could use. You could also use some UV resin, works really well. So here I'm just going to put down a thin thin layer, we don't want to build up any bulk on the fly just to enhance the colors, the segmentation a little and also just making this a little bit more secure. So make sure to get it all around the fly. And now we have to leave this completely to dry before we continue with the tying. Once it's dry we can then start tying the front of the fly. And here we're going to have two materials, some dubbing and some deer hair. We're going to start with the deer hair which is going to be the wing. So here I got a patch of deer hair. This one is quite short and really fine hairs. If you're going to tie this in the sizes 16, 18, 20, I would suggest you go for these little 
shorter and finer fibers else if you're going to tie this in bigger sizes like the 12s, the 10s which are much better suited for beginners you could go with any just normal deer hair patch and it would work really well the only thing to keep in mind is to keep the number of hairs or the thickness of the bunch you're going to take quite small there is really no need to put more than a few fibers on these flies it won't help the fly float and it will just make it heavier without any reason to it so here I've taken just a small bunch on this size 16 you really don't need much on the sizes 12s and 10s you could go with the size or size bunch appropriate to the size of the hook and then tips first in the hair stacker tap it a few times this is going to align the deer hair fibers and all the tips are then going to be aligned and then as I said in the beginning of the video is the most predominant part of a caddis fly are the wings so this is going to be the most predominant part on our fly so here you want these to extend a little bit past the bend of the hook you are going to tie these in with just a few millimeters extending out the back and this is really going to represent these caddis wing folded over the body and here at all time try to keep the deer hair at the top of the fly we don't want these to go around so when you tie it in keep firm grip on the tips and once you really secured it you can then let go to secure this even further and as we're going to use the ends the butt ends here in the fly the best way is to take these back and do a couple of turns in front this is really going to secure the deer hair and not allowing it to go around the hook and for the last part of this fly is just going to be some dubbing and you could leave the fly like this and this makes for a simplified version of the like the elk hair caddis here in this case it would be a deer hair caddis and usually you would just tie off or cut off tie off and then cut off the the ends but here I'm just going to add a little bit of dubbing and this is going to make for a little neat thorax and going to finish off this fly in a nice way here this mix I don't have a name for it yet but it's my like my bug mix with all kinds of different spiky hairs, some rabbit fur and also a little bit of UV and I like to have a few UV materials in all my flies so here is this little addition so just a few turns of dubbing in between the two bundles of hair or the two parts of the hair and this is going to make the thorax and as you see you don't need much especially on these really small flies then we're going to bring back the ends and a few turns in front this is going to push these up and also secure everything and make for a neat looking little head this thread is really great for doing small heads and that's exactly what I want on my flies so that's why I use it then take your whip finish three turns right behind the eye, pull tight and cut off now we have these ends who are a lot too long and I'm going to cut these at a slight angle and then we can brush out a little bit of this dubbing mixing it with the deer hair and this is going to make the fly look a little bit more alive so there we have a small deer hair caddis thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time